tuning in to the online broadcast network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars here on After Buzz TV. Selfies are going on. There's chatter across the table. No one's paying attention, but we got so much to talk about today. It is week eight. Only three more weeks left, you guys. Crazy. I'm so Crazy. sad. But it was a Dynamic Duos week, and uh, I'm Kristen Burt. I'm back here, and uh, right over here. <laughs> Next to me, normally it's Anna Trebunskaya, who is in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, doing Ballroom with a Twist. So, Jake, with a twist. Hi, I'm Jake Dupree, Our and we're the dynamic duo right now. On this side, <laughs> oh, on this side, on this, on this side, side, we have the dynamic duo of Suri Serrano. That's right, and Henry Bialikov. Yeah, Henry. He first of all, thank you for like exploding my Twitter feed this week. You're the welcome. chat room, I know, is exploding. Oh. Um, and thank you for coming back every single season. We appreciate you being such a good friend of the show. No worries. I love it. I love it. Thanks for having me. We love we you. We love you. I know. Um, no opening number this week. No. Yeah. Too much dancing going well, on. That made me sad. Well, did actually, we, we did. did we had an opening <laughs> number, but it was like um, a pre-tape for like promotions. Actually, it's like a promo shoot for season 20. So. Oh, the spring. Yep. Oh, yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we do have Mandy awesome. Moore coming in two weeks, so I'm excited to have her on the show. Yay. We had her first So You Think You Can we Dance last night. Jake, about She's amazing. You missed the So You Think one. I did. I did. I, I love Mandy because she just keeps it real. She's just she's like. She's the best. She's uh, the best. She's just the best. We love that. In every way. Yeah, she'll just tell you what she thinks, and that's what we like here. Um, so let's get right into it because we've got all this dancing, and I, I wrote down a ton of notes for to ask Henry about with Sway and the cruise, and we've got trios, and we've got the tour, and so much going on so let's get going let's get started all right um we kicked off the night with leah and artem i'm um, doing bonnie and clyde which i love um and they did jazz so i'm gonna um kick it off with you henry just to give me give us an idea because i feel like leah is such a good dancer mm -hmm. and i feel like the notes that artem's been getting um from the judges and, and leah as well i feel like it's making her a little nervous a little and i think I feel like she's shrinking a little bit, and I want—I know that she's got that confidence to do this. Yeah, I mean, you—you've nailed it. Uh, that's exactly what's happening. Um, I think—I think, firstly, Adam for his first season in the American version of the show is doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. I think Leah is totally capable. She's she's just she's got something special that is ready to come out. And you know, I think I think you saw glimpses of it through the beginning, you know, the beginning weeks and stuff like that. But it's tough. It's a tough show. But the one thing I think that's going for Leah that's really special is at this point in the competition, she is the only real woman left in the competition you know she's she and she's owning it so I'm really excited I think this this jazz week that they had was great I think they did a good job it's tough when you first up but I'm really excited for the next week mm -hmm. No, no particular reason. So. Yeah, I may or may not be part he of their next week's the trio. Um, I, I heard you got you were being stolen away, like everyone wanted you. Is that true? Um, look, he's a humble guy. It's Don't true. Think I'm a humble guy, but when you, when you want me to tell you, I will tell you. No, no, it was it was great. Like there were just people that wanted you know me for their trios, and that's it. That's all. There I was were saying. numerous amounts of people that wanted Henry, <laughs> perhaps by the name of Mark, maybe Mark and Sadie. That's what I heard. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. But yeah. um, you, what do we think of the, the jazz trio? because um, I, I'm going to ask you Gosh, right off. You know, I, I love everything that Henry just said. Uh, I have found, and you guys, it's no surprise to you all, I love Leah. I love Artem. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, honestly, I can't take my eyes off him when he's dancing. I don't mean just because he's obviously hot. smoking hot. I mean, like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, got, he's got such Lies. an interesting <laughs> movement quality, yes. too. He's such a good, yes. watchful person. And... I, th I think I liked her mm -hmm, this week mm -hmm, better mm -hmm. than last week, for sure. But I f I'm a little on the same page as you. Like, I, we're yeah. I, think I, 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 I feel like her be on my bed screaming, "Yes, that is amazing!" <laughs> but I'm not. And she had that with contemporary, and then it just uh, and you know it's so hard because you don't know what dances you're gonna get and how you're gonna feel until you get into that rehearsal studio and you think like, "I'm gonna be great at this dance." And yeah, you're like, I think last week I said that Janelle was kind of moved like a feather a little bit, like it was very like featherweight light. 
Leah moves like that. Like I, I completely agree with Carrie Ann when she said it. She needed to be in the floor. I mean, that's the whole thing. I was like, she's so up the whole time. It was just like, there's nothing like dirty about Bonnie and Clyde. And I missed, I really missed that because, especially like the costumes, the production value, the song, Artem, like it should have worked. It really should have. But for me, it just was a complete miss. I just didn't. I just didn't really like it at all. Um, I think it needed maybe a little bit more fluidity too. I think it was out just. Of it, I, yeah. did, I just something about her. I've almost come to the point where I'm like. I'm ready for her to go. A little wow. bit. A little bit. Oh, Jake! Jake said it. Well, a listen, little bit. Listen. I don't know. I'm just, just, I'm just, I want her to be something. Maybe this next week will be a whole different other thing. But for me, she's just fallen lackluster a little bit. And I'm, and I'm sad because she's an actual dancer. Yeah. For and she is capable of a greatness. I mean, let's be honest. It was a miss for me, too. But. I give her all the credit in the world because she is awesome. She yeah. is great. That's and why I'm, that's why I'm disappointed. So, those yeah. legs. I, I go yeah. to her legs every oh single God, week. I'm gorgeous. like, I want to be 53 and have those legs. Mm -hmm. I don't have those legs even <laughs> genetically. Yes, you do. I've seen your legs. I've seen them. She's lying. <laughs> Lies. And next. <laughs> Are you doing a samba or a pasta doble We're for the trio? We're doing a pasta doble. Okay. Yay, want, I'm like, I know they're doing a samba and they're doing a pasta doble, so the trio is a mm -hmm. pasta doble. There you I go. I think that's going to be, I think it's actually going to be really good. I think it's going to be good, too. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I want to see her I dance. I am, too. Yeah. And a pasta doble, you got to you gotta bring the, you know, a lot of the muscle there. She'll do it. 32 altogether, so 8888. Eight, eight, eight. I mean, good score, though. I mean, it yeah, was a good score. It was solid for first She's start. capable of more. Yeah, definitely. she's definitely capable of more. Yeah, we know mm -hmm. that. All right. Um, Michael and Emma doing Tarzan and Jane and a foxtrot. <laughs> 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 but I thought, like, then getting the Disney Phil Collins song, I was like, okay, thank goodness. That was like, great. at least mm -hmm. you could do that because that's Old hard. Surrey Tears, because that song is so emotional for me. So, I like, I definitely, I was in love with the whole routine. I love him. I love him. I love him. How can you not? And, and, and Emma, I just, I want her to be my mom, my friend, my sister. Like, I just, you know what I mean? She makes me want to be, like, you know, she's so nurturing and she, so sweet and so caring. And uh. and she hasn't had the, the dancers that are, you know, come in with the, the A dance level. Yeah. She brings out something in dancers that are like, okay, you know, maybe I can dance. Or I've had a little bit or I don't have anything at all. Like Michael's, he's like, I'm not a dancer at all. But she brings out something in them that I just, it's a quality mm -hmm. that I think is specific to Emma. I don't think a lot of the other pros might have that same approach with, with Michael. Yeah. And I think he lasted that long, too, because of that. I completely agree. And also because, I mean, he had NASCAR Nation that's behind him. Huge. Let's not forget, <laughs> that's massive. I mean, I'm Australian, and I know that that's massive. You know, mm -hmm. So I think I think what you, you, you kind of touched on there is, like, it's true. Emma's a very sweet girl, and she brings, and her partners are very sweet as well. And they connect on that level. And so you just... You just, you can't help but be endeared, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Someone that says he's dancing with his heart, you see it. Yeah. Like, it's right out there. Oh, yeah. You totally notice it. Um, you know, we talked about, I interviewed him a few weeks ago, and I just, on the phone, I was like, I just want to be your friend. Like, <laughs> he, he called me from his personal cell phone number, too. I was like, I'm plugging that one in. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to need it. I might but, need tickets. You know, so. I just want to be like, That's hi, awesome. Michael, I'm in Charlotte. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really proud of, I'm proud of him for making it this far because I think that she has really achieved greatness with him and he's, you know, yeah. not a lot of people I didn't know who he was because I don't know anything about NASCAR but I know him now and I think that she has shown with each partner that she's had an interesting side to that person and she's grown in the process too and it's beautiful to see the two of them come together and it's it's lovely to watch because it's just the two of them on the floor. Like I said last yes. week, it's them and that's gorgeous. Yep. And he, I agree. he improved. I mean, yeah. he improved from week one he all did. the way, and he made it to week eight. And that was his best dance last night. Definitely I really do be. think so. That's so great. I really think it was his that's best dance. That's kind of awesome. So, I mean, I, there's nothing to criticize in that. He had a great uh -huh. journey, you know, and that's... Completely, yeah. I mean, to week eight, it was beautiful. I know, and when you have a... You know, that's the one thing, you know, there's going to be those... There's going to be the Alfonso's and the Janelle's and the, the Sadie's and the Bethany's that can all dance, and they're going to have a totally different journey than someone like... Michael, who's like, I'm just here to learn yeah, something new and try something different and do that. Uh, 25, 6, 7, 6, 6. I mean, I'm glad else? the seven no. was thrown in there. Sorry, I am. Yeah. Just for his How was the Len the nice? Seven. How was Len the nice judge on that? I know it was awesome. <laughs> I was like, thank I you. I love that. All right, let's get to Janelle and Val doing Romeo and Juliet Contemporary. 
There's not really anything you can say <laughs> negative about this. It was it was perfect. Everything about it was perfect. You know, the the performance had so many elements of of you know so you think you can dance quality to it that um, you know in in terms of professional approach to the dance and and a professional execution of the dance, it was just great. I mean. Amazing. You know what I loved? Um, just the, the little details. The toes were always pointed, which mm -hmm. in contemporary I want to see, unless it's like a specific yeah. flex foot, flex yeah. foot that you the see. the toe police. I am the toe police, but especially in contemporary, <laughs> you want to see a pointed yeah. toe. You don't want to see like, you know, floppy fish feet. You know how I loved that. But but you know what I loved in the performance? The softness in Janelle we haven't seen because yeah. she's a strong she's a strong girl, and I think like just seeing that emotional side to her but was I, lovely. I expected to see that because of the chemistry she has with Val. Not going beyond anything else. Other than I, I wasn't surprised. I think I think what I saw that was not different, but just saw come together in that piece was, you know, she, I, she's always soft. Every every week she's got a certain softness to her. But when she she did this number, everything was crisp and everything was tight and everything was where it should be. She was always on balance. She's like, and you could see that because all of the the structure was tight, the performance value came up, and and all of a sudden you felt like it was just them in a room alone with nobody watching. You know. What I mean? Yep, it was magical. She Let's was, talk to she, was just, answer. she was just as part as much as a part of the lifts as he was. Like she was helping just as much as he was, which is so important too because Usually, sometimes with the lifts, she's just kind of like thrown around mm. a little bit because she's so light, and that's why she carries herself as <laughs> and very light. And muscles like in the package. Yeah, like the no put, like one push up. That was cute. <laughs> that was really cute. But I, this is the Janelle that I've been wanting to see for the entire time. I just this, I'm like, I think that this is her steamroll for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. like she's like, this is my moment where I really got you. Yeah, this this is the time. 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are sure. when you want to start peaking. I think Bethany is also. We'll talk yes. about her a little yeah. later, mm. but Ooh. she's another one that's progressed in the right direction too. So 100. Uh, yeah. Everyone's looking forward to that freestyle with everyone. So, mm -hmm. um, perfect score of 40. Uh, I heard a rumor. Did Max help them polish off this dance? Do you know? I have no idea. Yeah, I had heard a rumor that he came in and helped tweak. I liked the choreography. It was great. Oh, it was great. So, yeah. The yeah. choreography was very, very good. The cho your choreography performance, I just thought it was spot on this mm. week. So, I really enjoyed it. I love Val's work. So. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I mean... And, and his shave, his clean shave. Yeah. It was so cute. I like he's 12. Though. I like a little scruff. He looks like he's 12. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, the same thing. 12-year-old so Val. <laughs> 12-year-old. Is he this the first time that we've seen him without I a beard? Don't remember in a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. It has yeah. been a while. I can't remember. I was like, I couldn't even remember if I have. Why if did we've he ever seen him? Do we know? I actually, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was just you know wanted to step out, make it a little bit of a different statement, and I think he did. It was I think cute. He did, definitely. It actually made sense for Romeo and Juliet. It made sense for the character. Yeah. So mm. I think that was perfect. Mm -hmm. There we go. Tommy and Peta, <laughs> June and. Oh my God, I love them. Johnny I just and love John them Carter so Cash. much. I, I love them. So just talk. About, we are so in love with Tommy. Tell us what he's like behind the scenes. I, we ask everyone this, but I we just he's, love him. He's exactly as what you see. He's just he's just a sweet gentleman. You know what I mean? That's exactly what he is. And he's hilarious because he's just himself, you know? And I and I have had the pleasure of working with them, you know, in the during this season. And it's it's just, you know, he will watch over and over and over and over his, his rehearsal footage. Or or, you know, if you if someone demonstrates to him, he will watch it over and over and over to get it. Whether he can repeat it, you know, physically is a different thing because obviously 76, you know. Uh, but I love them. I think they've got a super special chemistry that it's um it's it's kind of unexplainable in a way, but it, it, it it's obviously explainable. But it's it's just I think for Peter it's it's one of her best seasons, which mm -hmm. is it's kind of ironic, you know what I mean, in a way. But um, no, I think they're amazing. I know the tears two weeks in a row with her at the end. You know, you I love seeing this emotional side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, she's different with she, him. Mm -hmm. And Which I think you would be. You're mm -hmm. going to be different with different partners, obviously. And especially with, with someone but. that's that frail in a way, you yeah. know what I mean? That she wants to make sure, don't forget where you are, and you know what I mean? Things yeah. like that. I'm sure it's been I, a I great love watching her like s s say where to go next in the dance. It's cute. It's just yeah. cute. It's like a, watching a daughter and her father dance. Exactly. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can see, like, there's calling out of instructions. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no hiding <laughs> it. I mean, but you can see the, the physical. <laughs> 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 You're here. <laughs> it's just what you got. 
going to do. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, uh, this is what I want to say about him. He doesn't lose like his no. face. That's no. what I was going to say. You don't even know yeah, that she's. No. If you're not really watching, like really, if you're just kind of. I mean, I don't know who's not watching, gloss but you know what I mean. It, like yeah. you gloss, you can easily not see that, but you know he just goes with it. it just, you say, oh yeah, it just here. reminds me. It just reminds me. He, he made a comment in in the interviews on on Monday night. I think he said something to the effect of, you know, I'm like the zombie that just you can't kill. I just keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's exactly. <laughs> is that game plants versus zombies? The zombies keep coming. Yeah. He's awesome. Is, do you know if Peta is super shocked or surprised that they lasted this long? Oh yeah, I mean she's you know she's <laughs> of course she's she's got a surprise to it because it's you know he's seventy six years old and it's his his knees hurt and his everything calf. hurt yeah and and you know there's only so much you can put on to a person you know physically like that yep. and mentally because it's tough. So, I mean, there's definitely an element of surprise there, for sure. And Len compared him to a hot dog. Like, it's tasty, but you don't know what's inside. <laughs> you don't know the content. Dying. You don't know the content. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> I was like, Len, you got it. Um, but I think the authenticity is what we've all sort of latched on to with with um, Tommy, and I think that that's super important. And yeah. I, I also, I think it's, it's uh, again, I want to credit um, Peter, because this is so hard to be at, in week nine now, teaching him, you know, four dances last week, and now this week he's got two dances, and, and they're big dances. You know, I think, I think um, it reminds me, you know, because she told me once that, you know, during the actual show, uh, during the dress run, sh he thought it was the actual <laughs> show. So he didn't, oh when showtime came, he thought he'd already done, done his no. bit. You know, and actually, Tony, when he was with Betsy, yeah. uh, the first show that they did, week one, obviously, um, she asked him, is this the final? Is this the finale? He was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> where, are we? where are we right now? <laughs> so, Just to dress rehearsal. Big, big awesome. props to Peter. Oh, my <laughs> <And> Tony. <laughs> so great. So great. I love these behind the scenes stories. 6776. Six. Look at Len again. Another 7. They got a 26. Oh, good tonight. I like he was he was happy. He was yeah. like well rested, I think. Yeah. That you know, trip across the pond sometimes gets him grumpy. <laughs> um, Mark and Sadie doing Adam and Eve um, and a contemporary piece. Um, I, I want to start off with this. Mark is mad. <laughs> Mark is upset this season about some of his scores and I think that they have been underscored a little bit for here and there. Um, but that package showed him like mad. Well, we yeah. could tell though, you could tell last week, just if you know him at all, watching his face, he was pissed. He was pissed. Yeah. And I mean, rightly so. I mean, why, you know, he, he deserves to be mad if he's, you know, not being yeah. appreciated. And I mean, his work is awesome. It's, he's it's on point. It's freaking amazing. Yeah. And I'm glad, I'm glad Lynn said that after, yeah. afterward, too, to give him the props for his creativity because he is truly a creative his, genius. His routines, I'm sorry, when this show is said and done and it's over one day, when it does end, maybe 100 years from now, who knows? Cool. Those his routines in 100. <laughs> we Mark's in. routines will be some of the most memorable routines in my eyes. Yeah, I, don't know what I, you I totally agree with you. I think it's spot on because I, I've had you know the pleasure of being in some of the routines and being in that Halloween routine. And I you know the, the thing that I don't think gets credited enough uh, is is how much difficulty and how much work goes into the show because you're given a dance, you're given a, a genre, you're given a piece of music, and you create. You you know what I mean? Yes, you have um, production that helps, and, and our production is amazing, phenomenal. Sick. Cannot I last can't, week we were dying. It I, was can't, so I can't. I can't say how impressed I am. Six seasons in, and I still every time, every week, I am so impressed by how diligent they are. And same with wardrobe, same with makeup. Mm -hmm. So you know we have great a great team. But at the end of the day, if the pro is not has no idea on what what to do, you know. It's it's just not going to happen. So he does a great job. And I think some of his best work is being done this season mm, with yes. Sadie. Um, one yeah. other thing I just want to ask about this, because Jessica Radloff, who um, writes for Glamour, um, she writes about Dancing with the Stars and behind the scenes, she kind of called him out a little bit. I guess he didn't come and do press line last week. Mm. And I, I just want to know, because she basically told him to suck it up and like whether the judges yeah. like him or not. And, and it was, suck it up is in quotes. Um, 
and get out there and you know that other pros when they have bad weeks they come out and talk but um, what is required of the pros are you required to do press line if you're sick or you're just not feeling it can you avoid it well I mean clearly you can yeah. you know what I mean you, you <laughs> but I mean is it in your contracts like are they Look, I, I mean I think there's there's certain requirements of us you know we, we have to do things but you there is there is a leniency too especially someone with, with that much experience and, and seniority so to speak you know you you, you, you know if they're not feeling well then you know they have the benefit of the doubt yeah I don't have a problem with him not doing press line I, I'm when I was down there a lot f for press line the, you know some people couldn't do it because they had to go where you know other, plane yeah, and yeah whatever it is but like so what so what he didn't do interviews for one night mm. I say get over it to this glamour person whatever her name, <laughs> whatever her name is sorry <laughs> she, she gives like, great insight I don't I don't yeah. want to slam her no, 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 I mean in mean, I mean, I mean, a know. nice way yeah. but like but big everyone's deal. got their everyone's got their opinion on it you know what I mean so that's that's your opinion yeah. I yeah. totally and the fact totally that everyone's that. like talking about that yeah. I mean, they win overall. Yeah. I mean, Mark wins overall. Totally. So, yeah. Totally. It's great press. So it's all good. <laughs> now let's talk about their contemporary. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, just wanted, I just wanted to ask about that because I had debated it on Twitter with a few people, and, you know, it was just uh, throwing it out there. What do you think? You Before know? we even break down their dance, can you just say hats off again to hair and makeup and wardrobe? Mm -hmm. Sick. Yeah. Just so gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like Sadie's winning the wardrobe thing. She's just so cute. Every every time she comes out, you just look at her. And she's just so cute, you know. And she does a great job. She gets right into it. She does exactly what he wants. You know what I mean? And she's on a great path. I think mm -hmm. she's she's throughout the competition has had a great journey. Yeah. You know what I want to say about her really quick too. Sorry. Um, is I watched this routine uh, twice. I had to go back. Uh, and I'm like, man, for her age, not being a dancer, look what she did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's look commitment. What That's she work. did. She's a great student. I think we've talked a lot about that. Like, she must get in the studio and just be really focused, I think. She is. And she's like, she. I, there's a relationship between the two of them that she, you know, that it's it's this just lovely, lovely, sweet um, combination, you know. And it's I love, I love coming in and seeing them. You know, she's, I, I just, I'm a big fan of hers. Those dimples are so cute. I know, I love those oh, dimples. I but I just, I was really, really, I mean, I always love his contemporary and jazz routines. I think he does them mm -hmm. beautifully. I loved this routine. I thought it was perfect production, perfect costume, perfect makeup. Everything was so good. And I'm so happy they got tins because she truly deserves them. And I can't wait to the day she gets all tins because she'll get them again. <laughs> she she will. will. Yeah. And I felt like it was a story that obviously meant a lot to her. She could relate to it and everything else. And it just, it worked really well. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. you have anything to add on the contemporary? No, no I, I loved it. I mean, no. like I said, I can't, I can't say enough about yeah. everything, every part of it, and and what she is doing, the work that she is doing for the fact that she's not a dancer, and and I mean, she's taking really, I think, hard routines. And, yeah. and, hard and to be, sure. and to you know? be so young, and you can tell she's open again to taking his notes and delivering what he wants to see. Mm -hmm. That is so cool because most people that are that age would never be willing to do something like that. You yeah. know, like, yeah. be really willing to for the process to happen, and she truly does. Mm. She was cool. so down into the ground, too, to do, like, contemporary and, like, be in a deep plie. And to like, be so leggy oh and, like, you God. know, that's it. good. I was like, I didn't even do that, and I was a train dancer. Like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was always my downfall when I would really? do contemporary. They'd be like, play more. I'm like, I'm trying. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I was watching Sadie. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, well. It was good. Two years too late. Um, um, 9 9 10 10 38 was her score. Right. We move on to Whitney and Alfonso, Batman and Robin doing the cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you're thinking about Batman and Robin doing cha cha. To no, no, the package though, when he's. <laughs> oh my god, that's when I just walked in. I, ju I, literally, <laughs> I literally walked into the studio and I, I'm watching him get up there and the music started. It's just there was this feeling I had that he's just not doing it. You know, I just felt it. I don't know why. And he jumped out, he bounced and just stayed there. <laughs> And we all just, everyone erupted into laughter. I mean, at, and then we were like, oh, wait, we, he needs to get down. Someone needs to help him. Ladder! Jump! No. And the ladder's too short. I know. <laughs> yeah. That's super impressive that he can hold himself up there that long. That's I know, hard. Like, he was I've just like, guys, seconds. I'm just hanging out. It's just a regular day. Butterfingers. 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 Amazing. Um, you know. <laughs> 
Okay, th I mean, this is great. And, you know, I was laughing, too, because uh, when the package started, my boyfriend was watching with me, and he goes, why are they ruining the surprise of, like, you know, the whole zip line? I go, something happened in rehearsal. And sure right. enough, there he is. Hanging. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good point on your boyfriend's part. Right? He's like, I don't get that. And I was like, oh, you just wait a minute. <laughs> so um, what do we think of their cha-cha? I mean, every week they come out there, they just, like, bound on that dance floor with tons of energy. Jake? I mean, it's exactly what you want to what I want to see on this show. It's, it's fun. It's energetic. He dances. Like, he actually dances. The cha-cha elements, I don't know if there was a lot of it, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care, to be quite honest, because I those two moments side by side, like, all those moments they had together, genius. Like, he moves, like, I mean, it's just heaven. I love, I could watch him, I, I wish that he was, like, every dance. And that goes for Whitney, too, because I think she oh is a true superstar. Like, yeah, superstar. Yeah, I'm yeah. so proud of her. I'm gonna let Henry talk about the technique, you know, all the cha how much cha-cha content there was, but I will say that I loved it. I enjoyed it immensely. And um, I love the music and how fast-paced it was and the energy of it, and her costume was too die she for. Looked, mm, yeah. She looked um, Hello. Good. I did yeah. watch Whitney a little bit more than Alfonso. I'm I did say too. That. And he's in all black too. He's in all black. Hard to yes, like, hard. It was hard. Red and shiny. Whitney, not. <laughs> Whitney's so hot. Yeah. Like it's like ridiculous. I mean, they're awesome. I can't wait for the finale because they're obviously going to be there. Oh yeah. yeah I sure. mean, I, I think they did a great job. Obviously, it was super fun. Um, cha cha content. Of course, there was cha cha content. And there was about, I would say. Half of it was cha cha, and the next half was was interpretive cha cha. I mean, it was cha cha rhythm. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely cha cha rhythm. Cha cha you, energy. You could see the shazza. You uh -huh. could see the back breaks. It was just a little bit more like. And Let's do some bad. Bad. We <laughs> have to, Pat, you have to do that. Um, and I think Len didn't really call him out on content at all. And I think yeah, that, that was he's no the need. Yeah, no need. he's the first person to mm. call people out when he doesn't see enough content. And I think Julianne yeah. is also kind of the, the second runner-up on when it comes to content as well. She's doing a good job with that. Um, they got ten nine nine ten thirty eight on that. Yeah, well deserved. Well I, deserved. I could watch that dance over and over again. It was it good. It was fine. It was good. Yeah. I just love them being Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. Oh, no. Derek and Bethany, Ricky and Lucy doing uh, the salsa. You know, I have to hand it. I just want to. I want to hand it to Bethany because obviously her mom watched the show. But you know, being 18 years old, oftentimes having understanding what classic TV is, um, you don't have that understanding of it and what it means and what she means to comedy, Lucy mm -hmm. in particular. But she also had to do that singing in the rain number two earlier this year. And clearly Bethany knows how to use YouTube very well. Um, so she <laughs> yeah. knows how to go and probably do some research. But I think she's had two really difficult things yep. for someone at 18 to interpret and she's done a great job. I, I loved it. I thought it was one of the best numbers I've seen uh, this whole season. Just And it wasn't, it wasn't just the dancing itself. It was the whole production of it. The whole package of it. It was just the the perfect sort of um, picture of what you want to see when you watch the show. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the package, and it's it's just it was hilarious, and it was so well done by both of them. And then when they executed the dance, there was so much in that dance that you know of changing. You know, he's playing he's playing the pots and pans. Which She's shimming in the front. You know, then they use the the table to do a little something. You know what I mean? And and so just it. To me, it exemplified exactly what that top level of this show is about, you know, and um, I, I thought they got underscored, to be honest. Yeah, for me, it doesn't get better. I'm from the top to the bottom, from the package mm -hmm. to, I mean, first of all, Derek is a brilliant actor, too, obviously, mm -hmm. like, you know, but the whole the whole thing, and everybody knows that's been watching us all season that I was not a Bethany fan for many, many weeks. I was like, where is she? Where is she? We, were, we all were. <laughs> I want yeah. her. And it, I had to watch it a couple times because I was like, dang, girl, like, just everything. Everything the confidence amazing. is there. And yes. even, the, and even yes. the freestyle, like, we'll get yes. into it later, but the freestyle, I was like, so impressed. She's a different no, so person impressed. now. She's yeah. a different and, person. And the thing is, that the one thing that you have to give her credit for that I think may have actually uh, grown, uh, if that's possible, is her commitment to the actual dances. Because this dance, she was just like, I'm in it. I don't care about what face I'm going to pull. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be completely committed to the dance. You know, and I think, I think in some of the previous weeks, maybe she didn't have that exactly the same mm -hmm. spot on and, and they, they still got scored quite well I think this week they should have been they should have been really really high up there what was the mistake because I went back and watched oh, it. it it was I, <laughs> did you I, see it yeah I, I sort of noticed that someone heard me like uh, oh and I and then I forgot what it was and then they reminded me it's when I think it went it was when she came up uh, 
came up off the ground because they went to the ground and then she came up and sort of didn't get up. Yes. Okay. But I mean, is that really something you should comment on? I mean, if that's what we're going to comment on, let's comment on, you know, uh, missteps, timing, you know, like there's other things that happen that don't get picked up on, you know, so why... And is that know. a whole I, point? Yeah, is yeah, that a whole point off I mean, on that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just don't. I didn't think that was fair. I, I honestly, because I'm looking at it more, more from a perspective of not just a fan, but just also I'm on the show, and this potentially could be me next season. You know what I'm saying? And that level of, of just thought process, creativity, and execution, it's like you've got to reward that. You mm -hmm. can't, you can't underscore that. That was, it, that was perfect. What, what can you improve? Mm -hmm. I mean, you tell me. You can't. I got, you know. So I was very impressed with Derek. And with um, Bethany. Yeah, I, I really I really it. wish they could I wish that this Bethany that's dancing now would I wish that we could go back and relive the singing in the rain dance because oh, I be it would been it, I mean I know they got all perfect scores but I didn't personally connect with her I know several of us didn't mm -hmm. but I, I'm just so I'm so happy for her because it's this is the girl that she's meant to be like you can see yeah. her growing up yeah. every week yeah. and it just makes me so happy and it kind of gets me emotional in a way because it's like you can tell that she's really working and growing and becoming a woman I think we've said that a few yeah. times on here but I just I'm so blown away by her and I was really really impressed with her during the freestyle too yeah. it was just an ease there was well, she was hilarious an in the ease. package she was hilarious <laughs> so I was funny like, and wow. also, and also, she reminds me a lot of Maria Menounos on this ah. season for some reason. There's That's lots of things. That's what I said to Derek really? first week. I'm like, Derek, this is a mini Maria Menounos. <gasps> I said it to exactly. him. Exactly. Like, yeah, you're right, actually. But you know what we're going to see? Up on that. You watch ABC what? Family build a comedy around Bethany. You just mm -hmm. watch. Oh, they'll sign her to something because she's too yeah. big to ignore. Oh, in yeah. terms she's, of, I think she's going to definitely go on to do some. Big she's things. already big, but I think she can go. Mm. I mean, millions of followers. Blow so it's like they have to up, reward yeah. that. You know, but and also she's talented. It's not just the followers. She's talented. She well, wouldn't, she wouldn't the be comedy, there without the talent. Especially now, mm -hmm. at the journey, like where she's at now, from where she started. I mean, wow. That mm. progression has to continue. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 They could do the Beatty Show. I mean, you'd have Sadie and, and Bethany. The two of them are and great <laughs> role models. I just want to say props mm -hmm. to their parents. So yep, sure. thank you for that. I don't want to be talking about Justin Bieber like antics. I love that. I love that. Uh, nine nine ten nine 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 ten for a total of thirty seven on that. Yeah, it was really. Yeah, really. I think so too. I know, and I felt like there was a little bit of like we need That's to keep silly. this low, and we got the ten. If we yeah. don't, that way we don't have a tie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That, that was just silly. I yeah. just I totally laughed silly. at it. I was like, mm. come yeah. on. We're gonna move on to the dance off in just a minute, but we want to remind everyone if you're downloading us on iTunes, rate us five stars. Bye. Bye. Please download Bye. us and rate us. Bye. Yes, please. We love that. Yes, we <laughs> so appreciate that and appreciate all your comments on YouTube and Twitter as well. Um, let's move on to the dance-off, which I thought was so neatly worked out in terms of everyone's wardrobe <laughs> yeah, and every dance convenient. that they got mm -hmm. and who they competed against. I'm like, come on. I mean, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> look at his face. I'm going to throw it out there. Emma was in a rumba costume. Oh, we had fringe for the two ladies that didn't cha-cha. Oh, Mark and Derek Hold were with up. each other. Okay. Let's put the brakes on. That was behind the scenes. Tell me. Emma did not have that dress on. They got it on her in the last second. Oh, they did? Yeah. All so right. It wasn't, there was no pre-planning for that. Tell Good you that know. much. Good I love She was it. in the fringe. She was screaming. Okay. She was like, guys, give me that dress. Give me the my blonde dress. This is my this impression. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you need accents too. I don't do accents, but this is why we need you here. This is behind the scenes because when I'm watching at home, I'm thinking, "This the fix was in." Yeah. Uh, no fix. Because who would want fringe for a rumba? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is true. That's and Emma's right. like number one when it comes to fashion. Like she yeah, nails she it every week. So, all right. So we get we get the dance off here, um, and there were so many different rules. You know, you get three points if you win. There's jive, cha cha, rumba, um, and then you pick your who you're going to go up against, blah, blah, blah. All right, everyone gets the rules, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Alfonso and Leah, uh, and they compete against each other for the jive. Let's talk about Alfonso first. I loved it. I, I I always like the dance off because it shows like who actually has like the true connection with their partner and like the trusting little issue. Mm. And these two, I thought Alfonso and Whitney, I was like, Hands down, hands down, the winner. Like they just killed it. They came out and they were so correct, and they knew all the cameras were. I was like, this is, 
Alfonso is, they kind he of is Whitney always knows correct. her camera. Uh-huh. Whitney has known her camera since she's nice. Yes. Since she was 18. Since her audition, like she knew really? what's she's up. She's always like, wow. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly. True. <laughs> I love it. Behind. Yes. Wait, wait you gotta do this though. Everywhere. Wait, you guys. Oh. Yes. Kate. <laughs> yes. yes. Kate, I knew you were saucy tonight, but wow. dang it. Saucy. Whitney knows her cameras. She's been watching Whitney a lot. Team Blonde. I love Whitney, I know. Team Blonde. She knows I've been a fan since season nine when she was on Saturday. I will do some hair flipping over here. We'll get into a contest <laughs> if you don't want to go there. The hair off. I don't know what my hair looks like now, but it's a mess. All right. All right. Uh, what did you think of Alfonso's jive? I thought they were great. I mean, he, that was his first week dance, right? And that was, in my opinion, probably one of his strongest dances. So, you know, and the routine that they, that they did on that night was great. It was just like not too hectic, not too subdued. It was just perfect hitting the accents. It was great. It was great. <laughs> Did you awesome. Like I mean, come on. I really didn't expect anything but awesomeness from him. And um, oh, we're not talking about the other couple yet. Well, are we? we can no. go. Yeah. Well, you can be the, our transition well, into Leah. I will say <laughs> that I did not expect her to do as awesome as she did. Like she kicked butt. Yeah, I, thought I she thought so kicked too. Butt. Totally agree. I thought so too. I was I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. I thought it would be what we you were you were used to seeing. For me, it was at another, at another level for her. Yeah. yeah, there was a freedom which she has not brought to the show since like the first few weeks. And I was like, there's there's yeah. the one that's the person yeah. I want to see. Like mm-hmm. she was so free and like living, and I was just I, I liked it. Yeah, I don't know. It was almost like she'd been doing that choreo for a year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. she had a good jive when she did it. it. Yes, exactly. Earlier yeah. in the season. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that was probably one of their strongest dances, yep. you know, along with the contemporary and the and the um, foxtrot. Um, but, yeah, I, I totally agree. I think it was a great... I think that this round was really, really strong. To have both of them head-to-head jive, mm-hmm. it was very, very strong. Yeah. yeah. I love Leah and Artem together. I will say that, you know. I feel like I feel like they've had it really hard. Like after Allison and Jonathan had it hard, now they're like, okay, we're gonna focus in focus on, on Artem and yeah. Leah. Mm. They always like pick a couple. Why, I don't know why they always. Why are they hounding him so much about the choreography? I don't find it. It's the choreography that needs to be hounded on. Yeah, I, I honestly, I can't, I can't explain that either because I'm looking at it again from a, a, a pro's perspective, and I'm like, you know, there's only so much you can do in a week with your partner. There's gonna be steps that look good, and there's gonna be steps that don't look good, and there's gonna be steps that don't want to be, you know, chosen or yeah. whatever. So, I, I mean, I, I give him so much credit because he's done a wonderful job with her. She, she's, you know, very balletic in her nature. So <laughs> you've got to ground that, and so he's been choosing steps. That that are specifically designed to make sure that she looks good, you know? So I, I don't think it's choreography necessarily they should be hopping on about. Yeah, I think that's I think that's totally fair because sometimes sometimes I'm like, why are you Leave picking? Him alone. Uh, I know. Yeah. I felt the same way with Allison and Jonathan for a while. I was like, stop it, <laughs> stop Leave her it. Alone. Like it makes me sad. I think, it's a, but there's a difference between those two couples. You yes. Know? I think I think that's that's important to note. Yeah, different 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 styles and everything mm-hmm. else and and levels. Okay, Sadie and Bethany they both did cha cha. I thought this one was kind of a tough one to call. I know. I thought they were, oh, so the it judges. was identical. I thought it was just the same couple twice. I was like, wow, they're so evenly matched. They really were evenly they matched because mm. I, I was like, what What would you nitpick on? You know what I mean? Like, it was, really a te- it was basically like a team dance. Yeah, it was like <laughs> tag exactly. team. Exactly. That's, that's, that's yeah. the best way to put it. Yeah. And I love when they were like, get back on the dance floor. They were like, okay, we'll yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there was time, it yeah. would have been fantastic. I yeah. know poor Tom Bergeron was having a heart attack in that moment. Like, no, we don't have time. <laughs> I, liked, I liked Bethany's control a little bit more, which I think the judges, a few of them said. Yeah. I liked her, just she was like tight and compact and just like really precise. But Sandy, like her personality, though, like in the movement, the way she moves her whole body in those in the fringe was perfect. So well, I don't who, know. Who wore the dress before? Did um, Candace have that little red fringe dress on before? They reuse them for remember. the dance. They off. do change a little bit. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Some, someone usually does on Twitter. If anyone has done it, they usually do the side by side. Like this was worn in season ten. It was worn in the dance off. <laughs> we love you, Kiel. Yeah, I know. I'm like, who? who I don't remember that, but I feel like that red dress has been worn before because it's adorable. That is cool. Um, and anyone that has great legs like that, you want to show, show them off. off. <laughs> Tommy and Michael doing the rumba, and uh, Michael, I just want to say, I was being sexy. Come on, when he said that, <laughs> die. This is why we love Michael. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was being sexy. It was like it was like watching the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen do the rumba. You know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was just so LXD, suave. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, when when Tommy hits a pose and nails it, 
it's like nothing I've ever seen. You know what I mean? He's just <laughs> he, like he did this one lunge where he's he's like in plie on the left leg, r right leg extended, arm going up, and I was just like. This guy is amazing. <laughs> he's the, just just the way he sells it. Uh -huh. I don't even know if he's trying to do that or not. <laughs> to be honest with you, but he just has this amazing charisma. That um, I mean, with Peter, it's 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 unbelievable. It is unbelievable. It we had Tony Basil here one week, and she said she used to see him out social dancing all the time. So mm -hmm. he does have a foundation there. Yeah, there was a really beautiful intimacy between Tommy and Peter, and I loved it. I thought that he the entire time I was like. <laughs> Like, literally, I was just, like, clapping. I was like, Jay. there he is. Like, that's so cool. Like, that's awesome. He's just, sexy. You know, he, get I, it. I have said get it. it. I, think, sexy. I think he does have a sexiness to yes. him. when he, If he's on balance yes. and hitting his thing, it's uh -huh. like, oh, He's dude. suave, I think. Right. He's yeah. suave. Yeah. Very Maybe suave. that's the, the, the better word. confident. It's nice. He's like yeah. one of those guys that if you went to watch a really great Argentinian tango show, he would be that guy. You know, you would just see this this really suave older gentleman. You know what I mean? That's, yes. that's he. He's that cliche for me. I, love I don't know. I, love I just that. have enjoyed it. And I'm like, you know, it's so interesting because we're really at a p place where we've had other seasons where, like, it's just between A and B, and, you know, mm -hmm. one of them's going to win the Mirabelle Trophy. Like, I feel like this season we've got f four strong dancers, and then we've got, like, a fan favorite, like Tommy, mm -hmm. that I, I don't think Tommy's going to win the Mirabelle Trophy. Let me, let me just, like, sort of clarify that. However, I do feel he's like. He's going for it, though. He's going for he's, it, and he, he should. Ain't, he ain't, he's not even backing up slightly. He's <laughs> I going love for it. That. You notice when they're like, so, Tommy, you're about to do an immunity challenge. How do you feel about about that. He's like, yeah, sure. All right. He's like my cat birds, do I don't care. Let's do it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You know, like he's got no reservations. Mm -hmm. He is 100% in. That's, he play, he that's plays the game lovable. correct. He plays the game he correct. He gets it. He really he gets does. It. Um, so, but that's what I feel like. I feel like, you know, at first I was like, oh my gosh, Alfonso's just going to win this season. But you know what? You got Bethany, you've got <clears> Sadie, you've got Janelle. Like they're nailing it. Leah, you can't even count out. So it's yeah. just one of those things that it's really kind of exciting in yeah. some ways it's that great. we haven't seen it in many seasons mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, we kind of know who's going to win. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Kind of fun. Uh, and so, of course, Tommy won that round um, with the rumba. Um, and we didn't mention that Janelle and Val had immunity, but obviously with perfect tens. Yeah. <laughs> Props to them. Um, a couple things that we want to mention, like I had put a thousand things up on the board to, to sort of talk about, um, but I, I was asking you, are you going out on tour? But you have other things that conflict with the tour, so you've got so many, you've got Sway going on, mm -hmm. you've got the cruise, so yep. kind of tell us like where you're going to be after the season ends. So literally four days after the season's over, mm -hmm. I fly out to Florida, and then I, I start the Dancing with the Stars cruise, which mm -hmm. I'm super excited about, Amazing. I can't so wait. Cool. Um, and that's going to be for like two weeks, and then I, I, I fly from Florida to New York, mm -hmm. and then we rehearse for Sway for I think like two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, rehearsing yeah. this week though. Oh, yes, I am. I'm literally week, yeah. after this. I'm I'm going to the rehearsals to, nice. to kind of start, and then uh, we do sway for a week, and then after that, I'm gonna go. I don't know. Actually, we're, I'm figuring out what to do in that little ten day period, but then back Vacation. on the cruise. <laughs> back on the cruise in, in uh, January. Wow. That's amazing. That's so cool. yeah. And then you kind of have February off, and then the season starts again in March for season 20, right? Yeah, so, something along those lines. I don't yes. know if I'm going to have something in there in February, but but yeah, it'll be it'll be something like that, yeah. Very good. And yeah. and so for, and just the way the schedule is, most likely the pros that are doing Sway Cruise would probably not be able to do the tour, maybe. I don't, I don't know exactly what their, their obligations are, but yeah. I would imagine if you're you know already committed to you know a few other things, you probably can't commit to it. But, um, you know, it's, uh, the tour is going to be amazing. So. It's going to be amazing. We know Mark and Whitney are on it so mm -hmm. far, and no one else has been announced yet, so they're keeping us in the dark on that. That's cool. I know. Um, so can we talk about trios for next week? Because this is what I've heard so far. You can correct me or tell <coughs> me Absolutely. that you can't say I mean, a it's, word. It's public knowledge, you know, so, yeah, so let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. So um, you are with um, Lee and Artem doing the Paso Doble. Correct. Have you started rehearsing yet? No. Tomorrow? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Kristen's face was I'm amazing just, there. I'm like, just noted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Yes. Uh, and then Peter and Tommy have Sharna, which I don't think is any surprise since no. Peter and Sharna are buddies. It's, it's going to be amazing. I, yeah. Fire so, nice. They're doing Fire nice. And it's jazz. They're doing jazz. Oh, God. I'm going to, like, literally die. Yeah. I'm already laughing. I'm, <laughs> I'm already I'm really like, <laughs> I'm going to cry. I know. Sadie and Mark um, have Emma. I only have one dance for them, Foxtrot, but I don't know Correct. what I... That's the Foxtrot yep, for the trio? the trio. Okay, we'll look at that. Oh, cute. Okay, and then um, Bethany and Derek, who is their third person? Do you know? I don't remember. Um, they have the Argentine Tango and Viennese Waltz. So. Oh, oh, it's Tony. Tony, yeah. perfect. Okay, so that's where Tony is, okay? Mm -hmm. Because really? Tony is not with Janelle and Val. 
Um, that's Keo instead. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of an interesting huh. choice. Who's Keo with? Keo's with Janelle and Val. Oh, okay. And but they're doing a salsa. you got to remember as well, the way that it works is the lowest scoring couples choose their... Um, their trio partner first. first. Oh. So Tommy went first. Then I think Leah was next. Mm -hmm. Then it was, you know, so it went like that. So Val, um, Val was first. Who was second? I forgot. Where um, was Derek? Bethany in and there. Derek. Bethany and Derek. Yeah. And then Mark and Sadie, right? And Derek mm -hmm. and yeah. Tony. That's interesting. Yeah, I think that's really. Uh, so he must have something very specific in mind, though. Because they're doing the tango? Doesn't he mm -hmm. always? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. It's, but it's but it, mean, be great. It, it means to me that he probably had like a concept in mind, and you kind of, if you have a concept in mind, you think like this, this person, would feel this person right. is my a, a, you know, a choice, and this is my B choice, that right. kind of thing. I would, that's what I would think as a, yeah. as a choreographer. It's one theory. Yeah, you it's think? one theory. It's like, <laughs> we can't get into Derek's brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then who am I missing? Oh, Alfonso and Whitney, they chose Lindsay for their Paso. Mm -hmm. Which, come on. <laughs> if anyone wants I mean, So You Think You Can Dance, Lindsay did a logical, killer Paso yep. on uh -huh. So You Think that to this day. And the it's going to be like twirling blonde twins just like around him the whole time. <laughs> it's going to be genius. I'm so excited. <laughs> and Alfonso's going to be like, hey. hey yeah. Just do the call. Just be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. So that'll oh be a super fun. It's going to be good. I'm really excited yeah. about It's going to be a good week. You know this is the week that's going to be super crucial, though, because, I mean, this yeah. is kind of determining who's going to be in the finals. Will they do a double el elimination? No, the final? no. no because okay. we're, we're, we only have three weeks left. Okay. And mm -hmm. there's, what, six couples left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, six. Oh, wow. Yeah, because if you do a top four finale. Right. That's, Ooh, yeah. This is, I'm scared. I'm like, I don't know I, what's going to happen. I know. I don't and, know what's going to happen. And we had talked a lot last week, like, is there going to be a surprise elimination? Because we always have that one person that you think, well, I can't believe they went so early. Like Charlie last season, you're mm -hmm. like, no, he didn't make it to the finale. We haven't had that yet so That's far. That's true. No surprise eliminations. Mm -hmm. No surprise eliminations sort yet. Sort of. Sort of. I mean, uh, yeah, sort of. I, I don't think all of them were like, oh, yeah, yeah, that person should go. Yeah. I mean, you never, at this point in the game, it's so hard when people start going because you're like, oh, you didn't want them to leave and, and things like that. But, I, I mean, that's the one thing. I look at Tommy's such a wild card in all of this. Like, you can't count him out for mm -mm. that top four finale mm -mm. at all. No, you can't. You can't. That's what makes this season so exciting. Yeah. And I, I think even, like, last season when you look at Candace Cameron, I don't think, like, you would have been, like, automatically at the beginning of the season, like, oh, she's definitely going to be in the top three. No, I mean she made it to the That's top true. three, and That's Mark true. did a great job yep. with her. Yeah. And ba well, and based on the beginning of the season, I would never have said Bethany was going to be close, close to the finale. No. Just based really? on the first couple of weeks, just the first couple I weeks. Thought, mm -hmm. I thought she would, did she you? would definitely be up there. Yeah, I didn't. Based but on I, fan vote, I would have said she would definitely be up there. But based right. on how she was dancing, I would say Mom. now, okay. of course, it's like. Wow, She'll yeah. definitely be there. But yeah, I mean, she's got that st slow, steady climb that's been, like, perfect. And I feel like, and I think the smart thing that Derek has done is paced her, not given her too much, where she's overwhelmed. He's like, okay. You like, don't think he's given her a lot? Well, I mean, he's giving her content, but he's he's not giving her any more than she couldn't yeah, exactly. take handle. on or handle or anything else like I that. I mean, he's, he's super smart with, with that. Exactly. That's I think that's his forte, knowing what steps and how much of those steps. Yep. The, the strategy behind it. He's got it down. I mean, if anyone wants to Look at strategy. <laughs> I mean, don't play chess against him. That's what I would no. say. I would never bet against him ever. No. Mm -hmm. In anything. No. <laughs> I would have just wanted in anything. In anything. Especially chess. Especially. <laughs> definitely chess. Chess is like definitely not. Exactly. Chess master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's he out. wins. <laughs> I, I want to ask one other thing uh, just in terms of um, having four judges on the panel. How have, has everyone been reacting to that? Um, you know, we've heard mixed from the fans, I think. Like, some like it, some don't. I mean, you know, the, the more opinion, I guess, the better in a way. Um, you know, as long as it's differing opinions, if it all sort of bleeds into the same sort of, well, this yeah this okay that you know what I mean it's mm -hmm. it, that's not interesting but I mean for for all of us it's been pretty good I think every because we've had guest judges a lot this season as well mm -hmm. which have been amazing um, I think it works I think it's great I think the one thing that has worked in the weeks that they give the constructive criticism it works really well like this is great this is what I didn't like work on this next week mm. and I love that on so you think that's always the thing that when when that one judge gives that constructive criticism. I think it always works. Some weeks, it's we've had a couple weeks where it's been really negative and you're like, wah, wah, walking away from the show. <laughs> and I, I think it's really refreshing too because I think Julianne adds a whole other level of... I love Julianne just a new, judge. Just a new approach to how the judges communicate with the contestants. I think it's cool. Yeah. yeah. New blood. 
always changes things up, and who knows if Flynn's back for season 20. I know. Although he won't have to fly all the time, the way he has the fall season is uh, strictly come dancing, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, hope, you know, I hope he's back. I hope he's back. Yeah, he's got to do season 20 at least. And if then just if he to retires, finish the 10 years, you know, just absolutely. get the 10 year. Yeah, you got to get the gold watch, don't you? <laughs> I love him. I love him. Ever, ever oh, since God. Lenry, I, I love Len. I love him. Oh, yeah. The Lenry. The Lenry. <laughs> oh, one other thing that uh, the royal couple, can you just tell us about that um, oh, bumper yeah. you guys did? Because That was really cool. It was really cool, but Tom Bergeron was like, I don't know why we kind of did it or why we called it that, but <laughs> yeah. it happened. Well, so, we were uh, supporting. There was, there was, uh, a royal couple, apparently. Now, I, I don't know why it escapes me, but there was supposed to be a royal couple duo. You know what I mean? Because it was dynamic duos, mm -hmm. right? Was, oh, yeah. Am, I, am I forgetting? No, the dynamic duos was this week. Yeah. Right, dynamic yeah. duos. So, yeah. anyway, we were supposed to be um, William and Kate. Yes. Hence the, the British flag. And mm -hmm. I mean, I'm clearly, you know, my accent is close enough. So close. Not really. But no, it was, it was fun. It was just a fun, different thing to Iggy Azalea, fan, you know, fancy. Yeah. I'm so fancy. Of course they would dance to that, you know. <laughs> um, so, you know, it was good. It was nice That's to get cute. hitched on the show. I love it. <laughs> Actually, there was one photo that one of the fans posted. It was so funny. Um, Keen, I, I think, posted it. It's, um, it was it was Tom talking through the, the teleprompter. And then you just see me and Sean. I'm, I'm holding her in cradle and she's like that so we're like photobombing <laughs> Tom essentially it's so funny that's amazing <laughs> oh, that was really cute Sharna was your Kate I love that yep. yeah she Thank should have been you. pregnant, right? A little baby bump. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't work that quickly. <laughs> Got to go step by step. Next week, next week. Next week. <laughs> All right, well, we do have to wrap up. But, Henry, thank you so much for coming back. We love having you here. Thank you for having me. It's not a season unless you're here. That's thank what you. I feel like. Thank Seriously. You. All right, tell sure. everyone where they can find you online. Twitter, Instagram, it's at Henry Bialikov. Facebook, uh, I've got my official page now. You'll find it with a blue tick. Oh, fancy. Sorry. Surrey Serrano, everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Jake Dupree. You can find me on Twitter at Jake underscore Dupree on Instagram at Jake Dupree. And I'm at Kristen Burt on Twitter and the Kristen Burt on Facebook and Instagram. Next week, Shirley Ballas is in there. Yes. Woo. We love miss her. We honest. love having her here. So we'll see you all next week. Dance with Stars on Bye. After Buzz TV. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.